Well, hey there guys, in today's video, we are saluting the man in black. Now, the other man in black. Don't go away. Welcome to Rock Hard Riffs. This is the Rock and Roll Guitar Channel. Well, hey there guys, this is Rock Hard Riffs, the Rock and Roll Guitar Channel for the self-taught. Yes, it is Flashback Friday, and we are saluting that other man in black, Roy Orbison, the late, great Roy Orbison. He was also, of course, in the Traveling Wilburys. What uh, an interesting career Roy Orbison had, a lot of ups and downs. He was kind of a mystery man to me. You know, of course, he was always in black, and he had the dark shades. He had this mystique about him, kind of like this smoky, mysterious so sad and pining mystique, the voice of his. Roy Orbison could take any kind of song and just turn it into a tearjerker. Have you ever heard his version of the Beatles' Help? Man, it's about enough to tear your freaking heart out. It's Roy Orbison, what a talented guy. Let's learn a little more about him. Roy Kelton Orbison was born on April 23rd, 1936 and died on December 6th, 1988. He was known as an American singer, songwriter, and musician for his impassioned singing style, complex song structures, and dark emotional ballads. Boy, that is so true. His music was described by critics as operatic, earning him the nicknames The Caruso of Rock and The Big O. Many of his songs conveyed vulnerability at a time when most male rock and roll performers chose to project defiant masculinity. He was known for his shyness and stage fright, countering these by wearing dark sunglasses. That's per Wikipedia, guys. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty good description. He was born in Vernon, Texas, again in 1936, and he passed away in Henderson, Tennessee. A little bit more about his career, this is very interesting. He began singing rockabilly and country in high school. He was contracted by Sam Phillips of Sun Records in 1956, but his greatest successes were with Monument Records from 1960 to 1966. Such great songs, Only the Lonely, Running Scared, Crying, In Dreams, Oh, Pretty Woman. I mean, just just great, great, great stuff. And not to mention, of course, the traveling Wilburys. Roy Orbison is a true rock legend. So, guys, if you're old enough, what are your recollections of Roy Orbison, whether it be his solo career or with the traveling Wilburys? You know, he died so young. I believe he was 52. He died of a heart attack. Well, just we'd lost such a great guy and so young. But, of course, he passed away a rock legend and they left some great, great, great music behind. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us. Let us know what you think of this. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next Flashback Friday and next video.